Hi friends, the DG Shipping had announced a deck cadet program for NCV cadets after completion of their GP ratings course of six months. But question is, after GP rating course of six months, who is going to put you on ship as NCV cadets? That is a big question. And who bought the SSTP, that is Structured Shipboard Training Program? Who is having this? And which programs are approved? As of today, not a single program for this new scheme is approved. But the Shipping Corporation of India has done a progress in this field. Let us see what it is. The SCI had announced this program that they will be conducting GP training and already have conducted one batch which has passed out on 31st of December 2024 and second batch of GP of 40 students is already admitted at their Maritime Training Institute Powai by them and they are for this program the GP rating leading to NCV and WPO NCV and batch size is 40 and fees they are saying 4,50,000 fees for the candidates and for female candidates 3,60,000 so this is the free structure they are saying and what is this uh, program they are saying six months pre seed training that is normal GP training in their institute and thereafter they will put these boys or girls on ship for 12 months shipboard training so that is structured shipboard training program which this SSPP the Shipping Corporation of India's Maritime Training Institute has submitted it for approval with DG shipping and they are waiting for the approval so let us see what is this uh, further development in this regard SCI is also giving the job prospects for this NCV deck cadet program. So they are saying after completion of six months training at GP rating, the candidate will do 12 months structured shipboard training program SSTP TRB and will be eligible to appear for NCV and WKO exam. So that we have seen in my earlier video and then you will get certificate of competency and then you will work on ship as maybe third officer or watch keeping officer or second officer and selection criteria eligibility is same as GP rating so there is no difference so GP rating normal course whatever eligibility you do that and SCI will post you because SCI being shipping company it's big advantage that they will be definitely posting you as NCB deck cadet and thereafter also you will get a job For selecting candidates for this program that is your NCV deck cadets through GP rating course the SCI will be conducting actually examination of two hours duration and in this examination what they will be asking is multi-choice questions MCQs and examination will be focusing on professional knowledge test means if you have done ITI then ITI questions will be there English language test will be there then aptitude test will be there and a reasoning ability test so these all things will be there exam will be in English and Hindi so both any language you can use and uh, passing marks will be divided by performance of the candidates who pass okay so like that they will be selecting and details of online examination inform to only eligible so eligible candidates who come in the ranking they will be called for interview and then selection will be done 
Okay, online test will be in Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, and Chennai. So four centers, this online test will be conducted. They say this one means performance of the completing candidates means that is percentile. Percentile means suppose highest marks are received by candidates, suppose 90%. So that becomes 100% and accordingly those marks will be adjusted on a percentile basis for selecting candidates for interview. And after interview, you will be selected for GP rating course and thereafter for this NCV deck cadet program, they will post you on ship as NCV deck cadet for 12 months. So they have given what will be fee for that is 1000 rupees fees for appearing for the test for general candidates and 700 for SCST and female candidates. And interviews will be scheduled after the test results. And uh, they have given the online examination will be conducted tentatively on 10-11, so 10th of November. And this batch was starting from 1st of January. So about one and a half month before the test they are conducting. So similar thing we can expect one and a half month before uh, the next batch. And next batch will be starting from 1st July. So 1st July, one and a half month before is June and May. So uh, somewhere first week of May, we can expect this online examination for the next batch and students can prepare accordingly. As I have mentioned earlier, SCI had already taken one batch of GP rating under this theme and they have passed out on 31st of December 2024, that is GP batch July to December 2024 batch and one more batch they have admitted from 1st of January 2025 and all these these 40 first batch candidates and second batch candidate 40 so about 80 candidates they will be posting them as NCV deck cadets and completing that program once they receive the SSTP approval from DG shipping. So SSTP is Structured Shipboard Training Program Approval from DG Shipping. Okay, SCI has also submitted to DG Shipping SSTP for approval. So that we have mentioned earlier, approval they are waiting now and approval they may get on any day quickly. Another party who has submitted approval is Board of Examination for Seafarer that is BES. But BES is centralized body conducting the exams for the GP and CCMC, whereas SCI, SCI is a shipping company. So difference is these SCI candidates will be going on ship. And if they are having SSTP, then that is much beneficial for the students and more important. Once approval is received, then the candidates will join the ships as NCV deck cadets. Till date, none got the approval of SSTP from DG shipping has not approved any uh, program of shipboard structured training program. They have not yet approved anyone, but SCI is uh, hoping that they will get it very soon. Next batch GP cadets will start from 1st of July. So 1st of July will be next batch that is third batch of SCI to be uh, going means doing that course at GP rating and they will be uh, going on ship as NCV deck cadet for which advertisement we can expect in month of March. So February end or March the advertisement for this will come. Return examination and then interview for selection will take place that we have already discussed what will be written examination and they have give, they have said in their advertisement that SCI that preference will be given to 12th standard science stream uh, passed from government recognized board with 40 percent aggregate uh, aggregate marks and 40 percent in English that's what they are saying. further they say that they are having total seats of 40 so batch size is 40 and in that batch size they are having a reservation so how that reservation is going so it will help for the candidates 
to get selected. Okay. So unreserved means open category is 16 out of 40. 16 are unreserved. Economically weaker sections are 4 EWS means um, uh, who are economically weak. So they will have to produce certificate prior joining. Other backward class non creamy layer OBC NCL 11 scheduled class 6 and scheduled tribe 3. So this is the reservation kept. So that means what reservation means what? Suppose now, uh, suppose we take uh, example of a uh, scheduled class. So scheduled class student, suppose even he gets lesser or lower marks, he will be selected because these six seats they have to uh, fill up. So uh, even with lesser mark possibility that you can get selected. Other backward class non creamy layer. Non creamy layer means your uh, income should be less and you should not have uh, the land owned so much so that certificate has to be given so those are having 11 seats so there is possibility that many you know, students can get selected here under the reserve category and uh, unreserved category is 16 so good chance to join a gp rating with government institute fees are also not much the private institutes are charging more than 5 lakh 6 lakhs fees for uh, GP rating that is your uh, Seven Island Maritime Training Institute and Great Eastern. So these two training institutes are giving you assurance of going on ship as trainee seamen. But here going on ship as NCV deck cadet and within one year you will be eligible. Means within one year of sea time working on ship you will be eligible to um, uh, appear for NWKO NCV and thereafter uh, you will become officer. So quick way to get into the officer line and even job also. Of course job will be paying little less than the uh, foreign flag or foreign going ships but still you are going as officer and then you will become eligible for second mates foreign going uh, after certain time. That is yet to be clarified. But definitely you will be able to appear for second mates for it going. So not a bad scheme as such. So boys and girls, what we are waiting for? We can quickly get into and start preparing for reasoning, online tests, English and appear for this. Fees are less and you can uh, join as NCV deck cadet and become officer within a span of three years or so and thereafter you can appear for second mates foreign going. So good way to start career uh, by doing this and course is eligibility criteria is GP rating. So GP rating separate video is there eligibility for GP rating candidates. So you become eligible with that. Uh, this SCI is saying that they will give preference to uh, candidates who have done uh, 12th with uh, science. But uh, if you have not scored big marks, if you have scored only 40% in 12th, that is also okay. But preference will be given in while selection for this uh, GP rating course, which will be leading you to NCV deck cadet and then you will become officer. So scheme is not at all bad very good and uh, you are having opportunity to become officer quickly at the same time little higher salary salary will not be so much comparable with the foreign going ships but you can clear second mates foreign going and get into the career of merchant navy officers so thank you so much and captain joe is signing up uh, and make use of this information as much as you can Thank you so much. Bye.